Great gun debate takes center stage at the General Assembly. The state Senate has killed one of the key gun control bills proposed by new governor Ralph Northam. But a similar bill and several others are still alive in the House of Delegates. Mike Gooding spoke with advocates from both sides of the issue today. Mike. Well, Janet and David, year in and year out, this is one of the most divisive issues to be considered in Richmond. Middle ground is hard to find, and this year looks to be no different. As long as Virginians' lives are at risk because there are too many guns in the hands of people who would use them to harm others, we will fight on this ground. Several gun control measures new Governor Ralph Northam included in his legislative priorities for the 2018 session have already been voted down by the Senate Courts of Justice Committee, including a bill requiring universal criminal background checks prior to firearms purchases. That vote is being condemned by Giffords Virginia Coalition, a gun safety organization founded by former Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords. It, it allows people to own guns unless they shouldn't own guns. Retired Navy Rear Admiral Jamie Barnett is a volunteer with the Giffords Group. The background check, uh, you know, 90% of, over 90% of gun owners uh, support reasonable background checks, making sure that we fill the loopholes. Um, over 90% of Republicans do. So it looks like that this could be a very bipartisan approach. Meanwhile, at Bob's Guns in Norfolk, a completely different view from owner Robert Marcus, who has worked there since 1966. He has grave Second Amendment concerns. Uh, we have difficulty with universal background checks, and it's not that we want criminals to buy guns. The problem with the universal background check is, first of all, to enforce it, you would have to have universal registration. And that is something that the gun interests in Virginia and throughout the United States just will not uh, put up with. Jamie Barnett with the Giffords Coalition vows to keep fighting. Uh, that's because uh, another background check bill and several other gun bill measures are still alive in the House of Delegates. Meanwhile, Senate Bill 1, which outlaws bump stocks like that which were used in the Las Vegas massacre, did pass the Senate Courts of Justice Committee 11 to 4. Reporting live, Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.